Say to the guy next to you, hold on. Jesus is perfecting your faith. James 1 verse 2. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Ooh. Is something happened to Christians? Hey, Uncle Paul ended up in jail. Something happened to him. A Christian might find himself on a sickbed. He might find himself in the divorce court. He might find, find himself in very difficult financial situations. But God is able to see you through. Give him a hand. God is able, I promise you, if you do not give up on your faith, God is able to see you through. And knock out the spirit of divorce in Jesus' name. Blah! Satan can throw his best shots. It's not how you start the fight, it's how you end the fight. Give God a hand. <laughs> Things happen to Christians, let me tell you that. They end up in divorce courts. It's not how you start the fight, it's how you end the fight. Amen? If you are married, hold on. Give God a hand. <laughs> Hold on in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. You know how you defeat Satan when Satan wants to divorce you, but you, that marriage is restored? This is a great testimony unto the Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray for you quickly, then I preach on. Say to God, you, you hold on in Jesus' name. Consider it pure joy, brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds saying many kinds now this man cannot lie because he was the brother of jesus do you know that james was the very brother of jesus and you can see him as the new testament jeremiah jeremiah was the prophet Jew, zulch compromise this man i tell you when you read the book of james you think whoa, whoa, whoa. i'm glad he's not my pastor you know <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. And perseverance must finish, finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything, meaning spiritual, spiritual insight. Amen. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all, Huh? Oh, without finding fault. In other words, not, not holding back. And it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt. Say to God, do you believe, please? Don't doubt. Because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all that he does. Give God a hand. Say to, say to God, God, I'm, I'm single-minded, Lord. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Consider it pure joy, my brothers. Say, Lord, this is a difficult one. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, say, Lord, I need grace because this is a difficult one. He says, consider it pure joy, my brothers. Whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance. Say to the guy next to you, your faith will be tested. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be, may be mature and complete. Say to the guy next to you, your father Abraham, his faith was made mature and complete, not lacking nothing. So in the area where God's going to use you, he will make you complete. Not lacking anything and mature. Amen. Verstaan jy? Hallelujah. Hy sal dit doen. In die naam van Jesus. Complete not lacking anything. If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God. Say to the guy next to you, wisdom begins with the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. And I, spoke, I, I, I preached to you this morning, there's different kinds of wisdom. 
there is demonic wisdom that the world believe in, that there is godly wisdom, all of them be begin with the fear of the Lord. Say, not the fear for the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tanya, is it okay now? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. But when he asks, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like the wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. That man should not think he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a, a double-minded man, unstable in all he does. And all that he does, you see a person that doubts, everything that he does is unstable. When a person is single-minded and stable in his faith, you see whatever he does is prospering as well. So when a person starts something and it doesn't work out, he starts something and doesn't work out, you know there's something wrong in his faith life. Now this is not to condemn anyone. Because some are sitting here. The reason why you are here, Jesus did not come for those who are well, but those who need a doctor. He specifically wants to help you in that area. Jesus is a doctor. Say, Dr. Jesus. He did not come for those who are well, but for those who are sick. So if you are unstable here tonight, don't worry about it. Do not feel condemned or accused, but Jesus is ready to meet you on your level, to take you to the level he wants you to be in Jesus' name. And he will do it. Hallelujah. He's a double-minded man, unstable in all that he does. Such a person will not receive anything from the Lord, not because the Lord is unwilling, but because nothing is received without faith. Now, faith is, again, not trying to believe because the devil also believes and shudders with fear. Faith involves obedience, intimacy, and humility. Faith makes you one with a person that is greater than yourself. You can never have faith in a person that is less than yourself. Your faith is always in someone that is greater than yourself. And the one to whom you, whom you need to put your faith in is Jesus our Lord. Say, the man that walked before me. The mystery of the gospel is the author of my faith. When did he become the author of my faith? When he was born into the, this world through the womb of a woman. God Almighty himself. He became the author of my faith. Amen. He will also perfect my faith because his faith was also made complete. Hallelujah.